This camp for internally displaced persons is one of dozens in and around the city of Goma in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Aid agencies say renewed fighting between General Nkunda's rebels and Congolese government forces has made roughly 250,000 people homeless, and the number is growing. Charlotte Cagnore says she fled her home fearing for her safety. She and other internally displaced are in dire need of food, water and medicine. We don't have enough to live. First, we don't have food. We suffer a lot because of the famine. This is Cagnore's temporary home. It's a small hut with one bed. Her entire family lives in the camp. Mother, father and eight children. When it rains, the rain seeps into the house. People here say they are worried about the lack of food, especially for mothers and children. We have nothing to eat. We have nothing, not even wheat for mothers who are nursing their babies. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Look at the children. Fever, diseases. The global food crisis has made things worse. The prices of basic staples like wheat and corn have spiked. Congo ranks worst among 88 countries that have alarming or extremely alarming levels of hunger, according to a research institute in Washington, D.C. Human rights groups are turning to the United Nations for help. Steve Croshaw is a senior official of Human Rights Watch. They want the U.N. to help Mwakunda and DRC President Joseph Kabila reach a peace deal. It is utterly unacceptable to have the Congolese playing cynical games with the lives of civilians and indeed uh, the, the peacekeepers that themselves are indirectly through that. So I think that the political pressures, we are not probably perhaps seeing sufficient of that at the moment. The UN Security Council has agreed to send an additional 3,000 military troops and police to bolster UN forces already in the country. But it could take months to get the reinforcements in place. Months these refugees might not have. Paige Colic in Goma for VOA News.